Next, it's time to choose the position you'd like to play. Now you'll pick what type of player you'd like to be. Keep an eye on the ratings caps. Here, we'll customize your bio info, gear, and appearance. You know what they say, look good, feel good, play good. to choose your mental abilities. These will help to separate you from other players. They can be upgraded and you'll even have the opportunity to activate more later in your career. Let's take one final look. Once you hit that confirm button, your road to glory begins. Welcome to National Signing Day. Once you've selected your school, your college football career begins. If you have aspirations to see the field early, pay close attention to the depth chart. And even if you didn't get your dream scholarship, you can be a walk-on at any school. Plus, there's always the transfer portal if you need a change of scenery down the line. Now it's time to pack your bags and head off to college. Good luck on your career. I'll be rooting for you. Oh, and before I go, welcome to your freshman year. It's time to spend the skill points you have already earned to upgrade your player. Additionally, each week, you will need to manage your workload. 
Activities like practice will earn you coach trust. And as your coach trust increases, you can improve your spot on the depth chart and gain more play calling flexibility. Now, let's get to work.
Welcome to San Antonio, Texas, and remember the Alamo Dome is home to the Roadrunners of UTSA, and we are fired up to get this game underway. We've got a terrific matchup for you today, rich in pageantry and tradition, and it ought to be a fantastic clash. As we'll see a squad from Conference USA, the Kennesaw State Owls, taking on a team from the AAC, the UTSA Roadrunners. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Justin. They get a big win here and start the season on a positive note. You gotta love that as the players. You come out, you have so much anticipation coming into the season, finally getting ready to play in front of a live audience. You're able to come out and execute and get this win under your belt. David, couldn't be a better way to start the year. And for the losing team, obviously, it's a little bit different. You have something to look at now to analyze where do I need to get a little bit better, but plenty of time still left in the season to improve and turn it around. So that's gonna do it for us. Four
Welcome to Kennesaw, Georgia, in the greater Atlanta area and home to the Owls of Kennesaw State, where these fans have been eagerly anticipating this one all week. What an exciting matchup we have in store for you this afternoon, built around the pageantry, tradition, and everything that makes college football great. As we'll see a squad from the Sun Belt, the Louisiana Raging Cajuns, taking on a team from Conference USA, the Kennesaw State Owls. 48 Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside. Not a lot of drama in this one as they just get punched in the face and lose by double figures. Not a lot of drama, but there is a lot to fix on offense, on defense, on special teams. This team, David, they've got a lot to figure out. Yeah, but you know what, Jesse? The coaches are going to be in a great mood. The bus rides, the plane rides, those will all be real fun. Practice this week, it's going to be a blast. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football. We know the way to San Jose, heart of the Silicon Valley and home to the San Jose State Spartans. And anticipation has been high all week for this one. Maybe you need a little caffeine, or maybe the sheer energy of this matchup will keep you wide awake as we know anything can happen when you kick off after dark. As we'll see a squad from Conference USA, the Kennesaw State Owls, taking on a team from the Mountain West, the San Jose State Spartans. 48 Sports Cup. Okay, ready? Line getting set on second down. Johnson wants to throw it. Scrambling away. Trying to escape and get it himself. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Ready, now on first down, they need to answer with a touchdown. Trying to find his man on first down. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Hey, man, if you're going to force incompletions with the Q...
My pulse rate is still through the roof on this game. I would have called that one for free. Uh, wait, I don't want to get carried away there, but it was a really fun game and a great win. <laughs> it really was. I know we're all up here. We're bouncing around. We're excited after having seen what we just saw. What a great win for this team to go out and do it in overtime. That's the type of game that fans are going to be talking about for a long time, David. Great. Yeah, right. If you know Reese Davis, that is not happening. But we got a free game that was awesome. Back and forth, nip and tuck. And bonus time. You got some free overtime playing that one. That's going to do it for us from here for Jesse Palmer. Dave
Welcome to Kennesaw, Georgia, in the greater Atlanta area and home to the Owls of Kennesaw State, where these fans have been eagerly anticipating this one all week. We've got a sensational matchup for you. Fans have been filing in and getting ready for this game, as we'll see a team looking for its first win, the Pandas taking on a team who is rested and ready, coming off a bye, the Kennesaw State Owls. 48 Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Yeah. Hey. Looking for a productive play on first down. Use the play fake, now to throw. Steps away to find some room. It's incomplete. Good job by the defense sticking with its coverage. After that last incompletion, here's second and 10 from their own 20. Johnson looking to throw. Fires to the big fella. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job form tackle. Nice job to get it past the sticks, and they get him down at the 35. Kennesaw State coming out with another first down. To the ground with the back. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. Tackled after picking up the first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. This Kennesaw State offense is on the move. Coming after him. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Now the offense has to overcome the negative play after the defense comes up with a sack. Unloads to the wideout. Finds a man on the left. And they're getting it rolling with that play to the 42-yard line. They really have no choice here. This is a no-brainer. You go for it here on this fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Got a man. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage before he was stopped, but using the running back in the short passing game gives him a first down. Used the play fake. Now to throw. Fires on the move. Makes a connection. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. They're in the red zone, and they'll pass it. Dances away from the pressure, going to his left. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down. Second down coming. Second and ten after the previous play. Johnson wants to throw it. Now adjusting. Let's it fly. He is lucky to get that one back, and the last thing you want is to turn it over on your opening drive. They were really starting to put a drive together, but after a couple of incompletions, now they need a big play on third and ten. He finds his man, and he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. A long way to go for this offense. He's looking to throw it. Using his legs to buy some time. Across the 25, he's got room. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before. See what they do on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Looking to buy time. They were lucky that fumble went out of bounds. They'll maintain possession from the 47-yard line on first and 10. Used the play fake, now to throw. On the move at the 30. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. Man, on the defense, I gotta find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. I gotta be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. Makes a grab at the six-yard line. It's first and goal. Defense is backed up. Shadow of the goalpost trying to defend their own end zone. 
A first down run in the red zone. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. And listen, it's tough. It's a tough proposition. This is a top 10 defense against the run. You know they're physical. You know who they are. But you're not going to bat an eye. And you're going to challenge your guys, especially in the red zone, to be more physical, to, to be able to continue to run the football against a really good defense. Guys, we're about to see this Kennesaw State offense go back to work. They had to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse. They'd love for this one to pay off. Nothing but green ahead. And he cruises his way to the house. Touchdown, Owls! One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. If this quarterback gets through his progression, David, hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running, I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback and wide receiver. You can tell this is a good... Let's see what they've got on second down. Second down. Quarterback checking off. Got him looking run. He wants to throw. Steps away. He'll throw one to his right. He's got it. And he will score. Touchdown, Kennesaw State. How efficient have they been as they extend this lead here in week five? It was a really nice job on the route concept because they got the safety occupied, which opened up the deep middle of the field for the receiver on the post. He uses his speed. Nice job by the quarterback, putting it out in front of him, makes the catch, and then runs it into the end. Getting aggressive here and going for two. Johnson looking to throw. Quarterback extends the play. He's into the end zone for the two and extends the lead. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. First down to start the drive after the break. Leaves it with the back. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Man, that's the advantage of having a good coaching staff to teach these players in this type of situation with the lead late in the game, you want to stay in the field of play and keep the clock ticking. They do that after that nice run. They go to the ground. Knocked down at the 35 after a pickup of three. Third and short here from the 35. Might take a shot here if this is four down territory. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. Just what they'd hoped for on third down as they've got a first at the 32. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll run it. They want to take their time here. At the 20, he's got space. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. This Kennesaw State offense is on the move. Looking for room, it's Scott. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards maybe, second and seven. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. football with the run strikes the blow they'll get him stopped just short of the end zone but they're in business here with a first down the offense threatening close to the end zone now with a new set of downs barrels ahead you don't give a hoot Kennesaw State does touchdown owls and the stomping has commenced. They extend this lead, and it looks as if they are going to make it two wins in a row. Guys, we're about to see this Kennesaw State offense go back to work. 
Final minute, this game's on ice. They can take a knee and run out the clock. This offense has to feel great with how they're able to go out, execute, and perform big plays all game long. I think it's sending a statement, too, to future defenses down the road on the schedule. They're and after the short game, that is going to put this one in the books. Just complete and utter dominance in this one. Outplayed their opponent and took care of business. Yeah, total domination in all three phases of the game. Offense, defense, and special teams. This team came ready to play, and man, it was pedaled to the metal right from the opening kickoff. And that's how you like it. Forget the close games, forget the heartbreakers, the, oh, this play could decide it. Just frying pan, meat, face, ball game over. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.